Hello sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm going to discuss um, games I've had in the past other than Stratomatic. Now, everybody that you know knows me or knows of me knows that Stratomatic has been my, my prime game uh, for over 30 years. I've played it extensively. Um, played the, the board game versions of the football, baseball, hockey, and the computer versions of, of all of those as well, um, and the college football. So I've played a lot of those sports in Stratomatic over the past 30 plus years. Um, but there have certainly been other, um, other games that I've tried. And I'm going to divide this into two um, two groups. One is going to be the board games that I've tried, which is not really um, not really very extensive at all um, beyond Stratomatic. And then I'm going to do the computer games, other than Stratomatic's computer game. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about all of them and uh, and see what you guys think. Uh, the first <clears throat> set of uh, board games that I've played, sports board games, uh, sports recreation um, board games that I've tried outside of Stratomatic has been Status Pro. Status Pro Baseball and Football, which I really liked. I do like those games a lot. Um, the primary difference between Status Pro and, and Stratomatic, I would say the primary difference is that Status Pro is a lot more, um, the, the instructions are, the, the instructions and the gameplay is a lot more complicated. Um, you can play the elementary version of Stratomatic and whiz right through the game. And really, even the advanced versions of Stratomatic, if you know it well enough and you're very familiar with it, you can still whiz through a game. But with Status Pro Baseball and Football, it's not quite that simple. Um, there's a lot of, um, as I recall, I mean, because it's been years since I've played either one of them. But as I recall, there's a lot of referring to charts and then picking cards and referring to charts. And Stratomatic kind of cuts down on that. Um, <clears throat> the results are mainly on the cards. Um, and then once in a while, you have to refer to a chart. Um, but not like that in Status Pro. But I do, I do like those games. Once you get used to them and you get used to, you've played a few games and, um, and, and especially if you have other people that you can play with, a league, you know, of guys that you can play with. It is a fun. They are fun games to play. They're just a little more complicated than Stratomatic is. Um, and then there's APBA, which I've really never actually tried. I think I may have bought it once and with the intention of trying it. I know that there's people who watch the channel who, um, and whose channels I watch um, who play APBA and, um, and love it. And so, I mean, I can't really compare how APBA stacks up to Stratomatic, but it does have a following it has a lot of people who really like it, so it must be a, a pretty good game. Um, but I can only speak to really, as far as the board games go, I can only really speak to um, Status Pro. And I think Status Pro was put out uh, maybe by, uh, maybe originally by Sports Illustrated and then taken over by Avalon Hill, I'm not really sure. Um, because those two companies actually stick in my mind. So one may have bought it from the other at some point, but they are good board games. Um, if you have a lot of people you can play with, probably playing it um, solitaire is not that great. Whereas again, with Stratomatic, playing Stratomatic solitaire is fine. Um, no problems with that. Um, but uh, but with, uh, with Status Pro, it doesn't really doesn't seem like it really lends itself that well to being um, solitaire play. So now I'm going to talk about the computer games that I've tried, because that's really it for the board games. Um, and one of them, from years and years ago when I was a kid, 
a friend of mine had a game called SSI Baseball. Now, that is really mainly a results-driven game, or at least it was. I don't know if there's an updated version of it, but we're talking about like in the 80s. Um, there, it, SSI Baseball was really just a like, you remember, you remember like those like dark green or <clears throat> or like almost black screens and it would just have like an outline of a field in light green and then like dots and then a pitch it would say a pitch coming and then boop, 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 you know like a dot for wherever the ball was hit so the graphics really weren't all that great on SSI but the results it was mainly a results driven game and it was for results driven it was great and it really lended itself to making your own players. Now, Stratomatic does allow you to make your own players, but I think that the Stratomatic game, it's a little more, a little more involved and a little more cumbersome making your own players than it was in SSI. In SSI, you just really kind of typed in stats and then, because again, it's a stat-based game. But it was I did like it. It was a good game, and really the computer games on this league uh, on this list I loved all of them. They were all they all had their certain aspects to them. But I really liked playing all of the computer games on the list, and that brings me to the next one. Again, I only played the early like '80s version of the game, and that's Micro League Baseball. Make Micro League Baseball was great. The graphics were better than SSI, maybe almost on a par, I want to say, with the current Stratomatic graphics, kind of like that, except that one thing that Micro League did, or at least the 80s version of it, and I think there are newer versions, um, but I've, I've never played the newer versions, <coughs> but they would have certain things like on close plays, or uh, you know things like that they would show like a little like a little video clip of like um like a first baseman getting the the throw from another fielder on a close play at first base so that was kind of cool um and again this game also lended itself very well to making your own players as i remember uh i think we had well anyway um, I mean, we, we've made players before and made the um, bat the wrong way, like, you know, whatever. They were really a right-handed hitter, but I made them a left-handed hitter or, you know, whatever. Um, but we've, you know, uh, we've made ourselves and put us in the games. We've made uh, players from the past and put them in the games. And, and it really, uh, and again, it lends itself very easily to that. So it was a great game. I, and I and I love that game too, you know. And um, and then the third one I want to talk about is high heat, high high heat baseball. I forget what company put this out, and I played this back in the '90s. And I really like what I liked about this game was it would start with all the original, real uh, Major League Baseball players. And then, but you had like an organization, you had an entire organization. So you had minor league teams and you even had, and the computer would generate computer names, like new, you know, names of players that don't really exist and then statistics for those players. And when you had an injury or you had a guy that was underperforming for you, you could bring up a player from the minor leagues, from one of your minor league uh, teams to put on your to put on your major league team and I think they even had triple A, double A and A ball. You could bring a guy up from double A, you could bring a guy up from triple A. Was really cool. Stat driven, but it had but it had good graphics. It had probably better graphics really than the current Stratomatic game or most of the other computer games that I've seen. It was a great game. I haven't really seen it since the nineties and I don't know um I I, I don't still have that version that I had of High Heat, and I probably don't have... Because it's, it's weird, the older games, you can't play on newer computers, or at least it seems like that. You need like a newer version of the game to be able to play it on a newer computer. 
but I really liked High Heat. It was probably my favorite one on the list as far as just strictly a computer game. Um, I, I think it's even, you know, they, they even did worked, uh, worked that. It was even better, I would say, then. Stratomatic because it had like the minor league options and all that other th stuff that that you're not going to get with Stratomatic. Um, but you could trade players. You could see the player. They had the graphics, the player coming up to the plate and hitting. It was really cool. Um, so I, you know, I like that. Um, now, as you noticed on this list, I didn't talk about like like PlayStation games, you know, joystick games where you really, if you're great at the game, your team is going to be great. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I won't even address that because I've never even really played many types of games like that. Um, uh, but like, you know, like for instance, in, in with hockey, um, NHL 98, I've played NHL 98. It's, it's a fun game, but Again, it's it's really all about how good are you at NHL 98. It doesn't really have as much to do with how good the players really were. So, and it's not really more stat-driven. I'm talking about the stat-driven games um, that rely more heavily on how the players actually did. So, so that's my list for the board games. You had uh, status status pro football and baseball. And for APBA, APBA Baseball is the only one I've ever even bought, and I've never really actually tried it, but I've heard it. it's a very good game. And then for the computer games, you got High Heat, SSI, and Micro League, all of which I like to varying degrees um, for, for different reasons. But they were all stat-driven, and players were supposedly going to perform based on their statistics, and so that was... That was good. But, as you know, I'm a Stratomatic guy. Stratomatic has been the one that has kind of risen to the top and stayed at the top with me. Um, and, and frankly, even if some of these other ones had current versions of their, like their computer games, like Micro League, which I think does, I, I probably, there's no way I would have the time to play Micro League computer baseball be in all my my two stratomatic leagues do stratomatic play at home leagues get ready for a hockey league or two hockey leagues every year i you know just wouldn't have the time um which is a shame but um but you know that's that's how it is so anyway what do you guys think what games on this list did you like um or you know or have you played and how did you like them are there any other games I didn't mention? There has to be other games that I didn't mention that have been uh, put out in the past that um, that people have played. And um, and how did you like those? And how do they compare to Stratomatic in your opinion? If you um, have played Stratomatic a lot, I'd be interested to know. Um, but other than that, um, I you know if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, any other kind of content you want to see, I'm willing to put it out. Just let me know. Um, uh, and subscribers are always welcome. I need subscribers. I want people watching my videos and giving me suggestions. And, um, and I try to put videos out every single day so that um, nobody's ever really disappointed if they're looking for another video um, every day on sports or Stratomatic or fantasy sports. So for right now, it's me. Uh, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.